Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when your iPhone won't exit recovery mode. Recovery mode on an iPhone is an Apple official troubleshooting state. It allows iTunes or Finder in a computer to detect your malfunctioning device and trigger an update or restore to solve software problems. Entering the recovery mode, which is also called restore screen, is easy. However, it'll come a time when you won't exit iPhone recovery mode and get stuck on the restore screen along with a laptop and cable. You might be wondering, why can't I get out of recovery mode? And how to leave recovery mode on the iPhone safely? Keep watching, and this video will lead you to the answers. Why won't your iPhone leave recovery mode? According to Apple's support file, exiting recovery mode can be done through buttons or a computer. If you can't exit recovery mode on iPhone, here are a few possible reasons. You don't know the right way to get out of recovery mode. The power button or the volume button is damaged and not working. The update or restore process goes wrong. There's a problem with the iOS firmware you've just installed on your phone. Now, follow me to try the troubleshooting ways of how to fix an iPhone that won't exit recovery mode. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step to make it easy to learn. Besides, if you have any questions, Write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. The right way to exit iPhone recovery mode without a computer. Entering recovery mode can be easily done with button presses. So, it's also possible to use buttons to leave that mode without using a computer. The principle is to force the iPhone out of recovery mode through a restart. This won't render data loss, so feel free to attempt. In different iPhone models, the steps vary. To force reboot an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. To force reboot an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. To force reboot an iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If the system runs normally and the buttons are working, iPhone exits recovery mode and you should be on the lock screen now. Use a computer to exit recovery mode. In case your iPhone returns back to the restore screen after the force restart, there might be something wrong with the system or the apps you downloaded. For that, you'll need to use a computer to save your phone. As said at the beginning, iTunes or Finder can detect an iPhone that's in recovery mode and trigger an update or restore on the device to boot it up normally. This also won't render data loss, so feel free to attempt. If you don't know how to do that, here's the tutorial. Run a PC or Mac that's running the latest system version. Launch iTunes or Finder that's running its latest system version, too. Use an Apple certified cable to connect your iPhone to the computer firmly. Turn to the iTunes or Finder window. A dialog box should quickly pop up saying there's a problem with your phone. If you see nothing but the home page, find your iPhone icon and click it and the dialog will pop up. It'll ask you if you want to update or restore your iPhone that enters recovery mode. Be sure to choose the update option, as the restore option will wipe your device. Then, continue to complete the dialog boxes that follow. Most of them let you confirm to trigger the update process. Once done, it'll start downloading and installing the latest iOS software that's compatible with your iPhone. Seeing an Apple logo in progress bar means that process runs smoothly. Wait patiently. After around one hour, the update process should complete and your iPhone will restart. Go and see if your iPhone exits recovery mode and boot up to the lock screen. If not, repeat the steps and then go with the restore option. This will lead to data loss, so think twice before you go ahead. Enter DFU mode. This is another method that can be used to factory reset your iPhone that won't exit recovery mode. By pressing a combination of buttons, you can force your iPhone out of the recovery mode by entering into the DFU mode and doing a reset. The same, doing a reset through DFU mode will lead to data loss. If you don't have backups and you don't want to lose data, then, ask Apple for help. If you have backups, then here's the tutorial to do a reset. If you're using an iPhone 8 in later models, quickly press and release the volume up button and volume down button. Then, press and hold the side button until the screen goes black. While still holding the side button, press and hold the volume down button as well. Keep holding both buttons for 5 seconds. Then, release the side button but continue holding the volume down button for another 10 seconds. If the screen stays black, your device is now in DFU mode. 
If you're using an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, hold down the power button and drag the power off slider to the right to turn off your device. Press and hold the power button and the volume down button at the same time for 8 seconds. Then, release the power button but continue holding the volume down button for another 5 seconds. If the screen stays black, your device is now in DFU mode. If you're using an iPhone 6s and earlier models, hold down the power button and drag the power off slider to the right to turn off your device. Press and hold the power button for 3 seconds. Then, press and hold the home button while still holding the power button for 10 seconds. Then, release the power button but continue holding the home button for another 5 seconds. If the screen stays black, your device is now in DFU mode. If you see any logos or messages on the screen, you may need to start over. Then, go to the iTunes or Finder screen. Click Restore and Update and reset your phone to fix the iPhone not going into recovery mode issue. Wait for the process to complete and set up your phone to use it again once done. Ask for Apple's support. If you've exhausted all available solutions and your iPhone won't get out of recovery mode, bring your phone to the Apple Authorized Service Center. They can help bypass the recovery mode and let your iPhone turn on normally first by attempting the software-related solutions. If no avail, they will start examining the hardware components with professional instruments. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that won't exit recovery mode. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back to working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel Cora Radar for more tech-related content. Until next time.